Hi, it's Alex from Laughing Place. I'm here today with Stephanie Abel Horowitz, the director of Let's Be Tigers, a part of the Disney Launchpad series on Disney+. Plus. Thanks, nice to meet you, Stephanie, and congratulations on the release of your short film. Thank you so much, thank you. Yeah, um, I was curious to know what was the inspiration behind Let's Be Tigers? Yeah, the inspiration was um, in my life at the time, my Zadie, which is my grandfather, was about to turn 100 years old and my parents were turning 70 and my nephew was turning four. And I was just thinking about the passing of the baton of life. And I had actually been a babysitter in my early 20s and my babies have this wonderful kid, super smart, super loving. Um, but one day he was trying to shoot me dead with his little finger gun. And um, I said, do you know what that means? And he didn't. And I said, if I was dead, I wouldn't be here anymore. And I wouldn't get to spend time with you. And um, he was really sad as anyone would feel. And that made me think, you know, about the kind of big tragedy of our lives is that we're going to die. This is deep, I know, but we're going to die and everyone we know is going to die and we're going to have to experience sadness and loss over and over again. So like, how do we deal with that in our culture? How do we share it? And how do we talk to kids about it? And in a more like deep and personal way to me, I'm the child of a therapist and I'm very good at listening and I'm less good at sharing. And I think the film wants to serve as a reminder that that sharing your sadness, sharing your pain, sharing your difficult times is really a gift. You know, it, it really reminds you that you're not alone in those feelings, that we're all going through that at one point or another. Um, and I hope that's what people take from it. Thank you. And uh, you mentioned you're the daughter of a therapist. I was going to say Avalon's transition, she seems to be in the film in the grief stage, or I'm sorry, in the depression stage of grief. Um, but by the end of the piece, it's almost like watching her transition into the acceptance uh, phase. Was that part of your vision to kind of see that that moving through those stages of grief from depression to acceptance? Gosh, no, but I, I wonder if that's just linked to the idea that that if you can share, I mean, I guess I feel that in the act of sharing, uh, we are given a gift in return, we are given the reminder of what's great about life. And so I, I hope that that's some piece of the puzzle. I'll have to call my dad, though, and ask him. <laughs> great. Uh, and uh, Avalon is still processing the loss of her mother. Um, you kind of keep it from the audience that that's what's really going on. You kind of drop hints um, along the way that she's she's dealing with something, but it really isn't until the very end when she's um, putting Noah to bed that she uh, he, he asks about the death of her mother. What was your decision behind kind of keeping that piece of information from the audience until close to the end? Well, it's said in the beginning, or it's said in a way, it's just not spoken super out loud. And I think part of that is that she's not willing, that that's exactly what she doesn't want to do. <laughs> you know, she doesn't want to talk about it. She doesn't want Noah to know. She doesn't want to have to open herself up to, you know, the pain. I personally, I want to be happy all the time. And I think this is her attempt at being happy is, is to shove it aside. And so the film sort of shoves it aside as well. And um, psychologists have done a lot of studies on how much kids, especially when they're really young, really understand about, about death and kind of the, the finite um, messages of that. But kids often say things that are very deeply profound about it, like they have a higher understanding than we believe they do. Um, I was curious, you mentioned the, the boy with the um, shooting fingers, but through your parents' psychological um, experience, do you have any, any stories like that that helped inspire the way Noah kind of relates to, to Avalon in that moment? You know, I'm not sure that I do. I think, I think I know from being, I have a nephew, as I said, and, and I, and, and working with a kid on set, although I had to have already written it, but kids are just a real reminder of joy. They're a real reminder of play, um, of sort of like, yes, be sad, but also play there's there's more there's more life we get to keep going and that's um incredible so I think that's really you know what's going on there I don't know what happened to me as a kid but <laughs> great well thank you so much for your time uh if you haven't seen it yet Let's Be Tigers is streaming on Disney plus part of Disney Launchpad thank you so much Stephanie for your time I greatly appreciate it and congratulations again thank you so much thanks for being thank here you. yeah thank you